Howdy, viewers. If you are returning, thank you for returning. If you're new to this channel, well, feel free to subscribe because it helps this channel out. I am looking for the final dream catcher, and it's not in this area. The reason I'm looking for the final dream catcher is there are 20 dream catchers throughout Red Dead Redemption. If you locate them all, you get a special item that, well, it grants you better stamina, longer stamina when using the bow. And it's actually very useful. It's an ancient arrowhead. And that's one of the things I like about Red Dead Redemption 2 is it's very detailed and detail-oriented. Now, I'm looking at all these trees because those are where dream catchers are located, in trees. And they're sort of kind of hard to find. And you got to keep looking at trees and in trees to see them. Now, I'm guessing it's probably not in this area, though there was a lot of wildlife around. And I'm probably going to have to go to the trees on the hill in order to find it. Again, it's not in these trees, and I'm tired of wandering around, so I'm going to run up the hill and find, hopefully, the dream catcher in the basically trees in the hill. Like I said, it's not in these trees. So I'm going to run up the hill and see if I can find the dream catcher. After Arthur finds the final dream catcher, he will draw a map out in his journal. And that map where all the dream catcher locations were, makes a bison outline, and the eye of the bison is by Elysium Pool, which is the location for the ancient arrowhead. And I will take you to the Elysium Pool, but I'll fast travel to Butcher's Creek first, and once I fast travel to Butcher's Creek, it's a real quick ride to the location that is needed. And I'll show you on the map here where the um, yeah, where the dream catcher, the reward is located. And again, it's by Elysium Pool here. And it, yep, right here. And I'm going to fast travel to Butcher's Creek. Actually, I'm just going to cut to where Butcher's Creek is and ride to the pool location, which is in this area. Now that I'm going to get to Butcher's Creek here, it's just a real quick ride down to the Elysium Pool. And then... I'm going to ride to the waterfall, which is at the opposite end of the pool. And there is a cave under the waterfall, which I'm sure no one knows about. But once you get all the dream catchers, it's there. I mean, I suppose I could have gone at some time before, but why? Now that I'm at the waterfall, to be honest with you, I'm going to take a quick looky-loo here. And yeah, let's walk under the waterfall and find out if there really is a cave here. And the thing is, with this waterfall, you can, um, there's bats in it, and you can actually collect bats, dead bats. And they wind up, uh, you can pick them up, you can get the wings, you can have a perfect corpse, you sell them to the trapper for some money, and yeah, you just pick up a bunch of bats here. Then I'm going to return to the horse and get my lantern, because I'm going into a cave.
For some reason, you can only activate the lantern when you're on the horse. And, yeah, I tried with weapons here. Nope. Yeah. And click through the weapons. No lantern. I have to be on the horse. No. Yep. Dynamite, throwing knives, tomahawk. Yeah. You got to be on the horse for some reason in order to activate the lantern. And that's kind of sucks. Yeah, I've gone through all this. Like I said, got to get back onto the horse and activate the lantern. I guess in some sense it makes sense that you have to activate the lantern while on the horse because you're not going to carry it with you all the time. So let's get back into the cave and do some exploration. I'm actually going to break down all the little bat carcasses I've already picked up. You can pick them up. They won't hurt you. Um, yeah, you get some stringy meat, etc. Yeah, you want to break them, <clears throat> break them all down. Perfect bat carcass. I'm going to leave that. Like I said, you can sell, yeah, you can sell the wings and stuff to the trapper. Now, i got to get up the area here. My advice, follow the brown water. Don't walk off anywhere because you're going to fall down somewhere and get hurt. But just follow the brown water. Damn, that hurt. Yeah, follow the brown water. Now I gotta get Arthur out of here and walk him back up to where he can find the brown water again and follow it. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of a pain. He can't really climb. And this route is gonna go nowhere. So, yeah. The route I was going is the correct route. He slides down. Yeah, try to go back the way I had originally went and get back to the brown water. It's real easy to get turned around. So like I said, I finally get Arthur up here to where he can follow the brown water. And once you follow this brown water, you will get to the next part of the cave. Now you get to the main area of the cave here. And like I said, if you follow the, the brown water, it will lead you to here and you can see mice and rats and crap running around bats flying around but you got to climb up toward the location that I'm getting Arthur to you can pick up some bats whatever you want to do but you're trying to get him up to the location where there are some cave paintings 
and you can see the cave paintings. You just got to get Arthur up to that location. Okay, it was a bit of a struggle, but Arthur is now up to the cave painting, and he can inspect. Yeah, it's cave painting. What you want to do is get Arthur's hands free and step closer to the cave painting in order to pull the arrowhead out. And there you have it, mission complete for the dream catchers. You can explore the cave more, but to be honest with you, it's a waste of time. There's really nothing of value unless you want to keep picking up bat, car bat carcasses and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, once you get the arrowhead, it enhances your stamina when using a bow. So, yeah, it is useful. Don't sell it to the pawnbroker because you can uh, keep it. It's a very kind of nice, useful item. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave some comments. If you like this type of video, well, hit the subscribe button and bell icon to stay informed when I post videos because I post four video game related videos a week plus some shorts and some specials and you want to stay informed you don't want to miss out as always I'm Brad proprietor of Barstool Entertainment thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and thanks for stopping by.